education and community building. We conducted a congregational survey. So we have a right relations team. We've um, worked with uh, Saskatoon Police Services. Uh, we worked with real estate agents. Uh, we worked with people with lived experiences. We have joined in um, anti-racism walks and walks for uh, reconciliation in Saskatoon. We hosted during the winter some monthly learning events called Ally is a Verb. My ministry is to look at social justice issues, to look at uh, MMIW uh, initiatives as well as um, Every Child Matters. It's a communal journey and I just want to, I want to be on that journey with my congregation. We are not going to undo hundreds of years of you know, colonialism and racism and oppression in five, 10 or even 30 years. But I, I always say it's like water on a stone, we have to chip away. And so as we are exhausted and dispirited and maybe depressed by some of the things we see happening around us, I think we also need to take time to recognize the achievements that there are. L'Église, oh, le combat que nous entendons sous le cycle, sous l'appellation l'Église unie antiraciste, est pour moi une reconnaissance que nous avons un problème de racisme dans l'Église, mais que l'Église a pris conscience du problème. So, thank you for that uh, commitment to being an anti-racist denomination. It's long work, it's hard work, but it's um, heartening to, to know that, with the, that our church is aligned and we are aligned with the denomination. It does help and it gives courage, right? To be able to say that the denomination has made this declaration and let's talk about it. Let's talk about what it means. So it's necessary work, it's not easy work, and it requires commitment and fortitude. <laughs>